Hey there! In this video, I'll show you how to control your iPad or iPhone charger using Home Assistant. This simple setup can help extend your device's battery life and even save you some money. If you're using an Android device, the process is a bit different, but it's definitely possible. So, let's dive in and get started. In this video, I'll show you how to control your charger based on your device's battery percentage. To do this, you'll need your iPad or iPhone, or both, the charger, and a smart device like a smart switch, smart plug, or similar to automate the process. I'll be using my old iPad, which I use as a home assistant dashboard and don't want to keep charging constantly. My goal is to turn off the charger when the battery reaches 80% and turn it back on when it drops to 10%. This way, I'll save money by turning off the charger when it's not needed and extend the iPad's battery life. I'll be using a Sonoff Mini as the smart device. I'll connect the charger to it and then plug the iPad into the charger. I'll also include links in the description to some smart devices you can use for this setup. Once everything is connected, we'll create an automation in Home Assistant and then set up another one on the iPad. In just about 10 minutes, you'll have everything up and running, it's pretty straightforward. To keep things simple, I'll name my smart device iPad Charger. Let's start with Home Assistant. First, I'll go to Settings, then click on Automations and Scenes. I'll hit the Create Automation button in the bottom right and choose Create New Automation. Now, it's time to set the trigger for this automation. I'll click the Add Trigger button, search for Webhook in the search box, and select it. Home Assistant will generate a default Webhook ID, but I'm going to change it to make things easier to configure later. I'll set it to Battery Saver Off. Next, I'll define what this automation will do. I'll click the Add Action button, search for Switch Turn Off in the search box. Then, I'll choose the entity I want to turn off, in my case, it's the iPad charger. You should select the entity you set up for your device. I want to add an extra action, I'd like to receive a notification on my TV when the iPad is fully charged. This way, if you have a smart TV, you'll know when your iPad or iPhone is charged. If you want to learn more about smart TV notifications, I made a video on it, I'll link it in the description. To set up the notification, I'll click Add Action, search for Notification, and select my TV notification action. I want the message to come from the iPad, so I'll paste a variable in the message box that will pull information from my iPad automation. I'll leave a PDF in the description with these steps so you can easily copy and paste. After pasting the code, Home Assistant will switch from the Visual Editor to the YAML Editor because this part isn't supported in the Visual Editor. But don't worry, if you don't want to change anything, just paste the code and you're good to go. I'll hit save, give it a name, battery saver off, and save it. Now, let's create an automation to turn the charger back on. I'll go back to the list of automations, find the one I just created, click the three dots on the right, and choose duplicate. I'll expand the trigger configuration and change the webhook ID to battery saver on. Next, I'll modify the first action to turn on the same entity I used in the first automation. As for the notification, I'll leave it as is, since the message will still come from the iPad. I'll click Save, name the automation Battery Saver On, and save it. And that's it for the automations in Home Assistant. For the notifications, I used a TV as an example, but you can also send them directly to your iPhone or iPad. Now, let's set up the automations on the iPad. You don't need to have Home Assistant installed on your iPad, but I'm going to use it briefly to make it easier to copy and paste the webhook ID. This step is optional, but if you want, you can access your Home Assistant from your device's web browser. So, I'll open the Home Assistant app, go to Settings, and choose Automations and Scenes. I'll open the automation I created earlier and expand the trigger configuration. To the right of the webhook ID box, there's a copy icon, I'll click it to copy the webhook URL. Now, it's time to create the automations on the iPad. To do this, I'll first create two shortcuts, then set up the automations. 
I'll open the Shortcuts app and click the plus button at the top to create a new shortcut. In the Search Actions box, I'll search for URL and select the URL action. In the URL box on the left, I'll paste the URL I copied from Home Assistant. If you didn't copy it, you can type it manually, it'll look similar, depending on your Home Assistant URL. Next, I'll scroll down in the Actions menu on the right and select Get Contents of URL. On the left, I'll click the arrow next to URL to expand the options. I'll change the method to Post. Then click Add New Field and choose the text type. Now, I have a new field with two inputs, the key and the text. In the key, I'll enter notification, this matches the code I used in the Home Assistant message, allowing the variable to pass the notification text. In the text box, I'll enter the message I want to display, your iPad has reached 80% battery. At the top, I'll click on the name and rename it to Battery Charger Off. Now, I'll create a shortcut to turn the charger back on. I'll press and hold the three dots on the shortcut I just made, select Duplicate, and edit the new shortcut. In the URL box, I'll change the end from off to on. Then, I'll expand Get Contents of URL by clicking the arrow and change the text message to, Your iPad has reached 10% battery. It will start charging. I'll also rename it to Battery Charger On. The shortcuts are now created, and I can test them by clicking on them. If you get a prompt asking to allow the shortcut to run, just click Allow to proceed. Next, I'll set up the automations that will trigger these shortcuts. On the left, I'll click the Automations link and then the New Automation button. In the pop-up, I'll search for Battery Level and select it. In the Trigger Options, there's a slider that I'll set to 80%. In the Options, I'll make sure it's set to equals 80% and set it to run immediately, then click Next. In the My Shortcuts section, I'll select the Battery Charger Off shortcut. Back in the automations list, I'll click the plus icon at the top to create another automation for turning the charger back on. I'll again search for battery level in the pop-up, set the slider to 10%, and choose equals 10% to run immediately. I'll click next and select the battery charger on shortcut. And now, all the automations are set up. Now, when the iPad's battery reaches 80%, the automation in Home Assistant will be triggered. The SonOff Mini will turn off, stopping the charger and helping to extend the battery's lifespan while saving me some money. I'll also receive a notification on the TV letting me know that the iPad is fully charged. When the battery drops to 10%, the automation in Home Assistant will kick in again. The SonOff Mini will turn back on, and the charger will start charging the iPad. I'll get another notification on the TV to let me know it's charging. And that's it. Now, you have a fully automated setup to manage your device's charging and extend its battery life. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more smart home tips and DIY guides. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.